Welcome to the Journal Editorial Report. I'm Paul Gigo. The United States, with partners France and the United Kingdom, launched missile strikes on Syria in retaliation for an alleged chemical weapons attack on civilians by Syrian President Bashar Assad. During his address to the nation last night, President Trump promised that this might not be the last military action in Syria. We are prepared to sustain this response until the Syrian regime stops its use of prohibited chemical agents. But uh, Trump's own Secretary of Defense seemed to offer a different view. Right now, this is a one-time shot, and I believe that it sent a very strong message to dissuade him, to deter him from doing this again. Retired Navy Admiral Robert Natter served as commander of both the U.S. Atlantic Fleet and the 7th Fleet in Asia. He joins me now from Washington. Admiral, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Paul. Uh, on the terms that the Secretary of Defense uh, set out, uh, and General Dunford set out militarily, was this strike a military success? Oh, I think so. Uh, certainly it uh, had limited objectives. Those objectives were hit and uh, most likely totally destroyed. Uh, it does send a very clear signal to the Syri Syrian leadership that the uh, civilized world is not going to put up with this. Okay, but on that question of deterrent, and you heard both the president and the secretary use that word, deter, uh, we did that a year ago. And uh, here we had in the interim a very effective strike then, and since then we've had the, uh, Sy the Syrians use chemical weapons many, many times. Why is this strike going to be more of a deterrent than that one? Well, this strike was about double the number of missiles, and I would say the uh, targets were much better uh, targets than the last strike. And it's already been stated by our leadership that if this happens again, then this will be accelerated and uh, uh, there will be other targets hit. I don't think there's any doubt that that's the case, uh, and certainly with our allies involved, uh, it's very believable. Okay, so the, and these targets were better uh, because these were the actual uh, chemical sites as opposed to production and delivery sites as opposed to an air base the last time. Is that the point? That is the point, and I'm sure there are other targets that uh, would be more strategic and, and uh, would be uh, much more painful for the Syrians. Okay, now the Russians, of course, condemned the attack, denied that Syria had been responsible for chemical attacks, but were you surprised that they laid back as they have? They didn't apparently take really active measures to try to stop the missiles uh, 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 or take any military response. Well, look, I'm convinced the Russians aren't uh, excited about getting into a en military engagement with the United States. That would be uh, catastrophic for them. It would certainly be ex very painful for us. Uh, they have limited objectives in Syria, and they're not ready to go to total war with us over those limited objectives. I think that's obvious. So do you, how, how effective, though, are the uh, Russian missile defenses and radars in Syria? Because they've been delivering a lot more of those in the last couple of years. Is that something that militarily you'd, if we went in there in any force in a future attack, say, uh, particularly with uh, fighters, we'd have to disable those, I assume, and, or we could be in trouble? Well, again, it depends on if they attempt to engage our, uh, our, our assets that are going in there. Uh, certainly, we have the right of self-defense. Uh, the Russians know that. Uh, the Russians were uh, advised in advance that, uh, and coordinated uh, the airspace for this. And so, uh, again, limited objectives on our part and limited response on the Russians' part. Okay. I think that's appropriate. Okay, going forward, do you see a strategy here, a larger strategy by the administration uh, going forward in Syria and what our role there is, is going to be in the days ahead? Well, I, I think they're certainly focused on Syria. Uh, their concern is obviously uh, the sustainment of a leader that is stooping to use outlawed weapons of mass destruction against innocent civilians. Uh, it's more complicated by the fact that the Iranians are there, uh, the Russians are there, the Turks uh, have different objectives than we do there. So this, this is, to say the least, a quagmire. And I think that uh, our approach to this, uh, because it is in our self-interest to uh, have our uh, interests protected there, uh, is appropriate. But the, okay, but the president said, he's been saying before this, uh, the chemical attack, look, I want to get out of there and we're going to get out soon. 
Now, if that happens, uh, uh, what would that mean, do you think, on the ground in Syria? And what message does that send to, to Russia or Iran, which obviously have longer term designs on Syria? Well, our presence there has resulted in uh, some very good operational successes on the part of the uh, people and forces that we're supporting. Uh, getting out of there is a term that uh, needs some more <laughs> definition, I think. It depends on what you mean by getting out. We could, yes. But let me ask you this specifically. You remember when we set up, the president, first President Bush set up a safe zone in uh, northern Iraq that was very effective. Uh, it didn't threaten Saddam Hussein's role, but it did, affect, it did protect the Kurds. Do you think we could do that militarily in parts of Syria? I think that would be uh, possible uh, with the cooperation of the Turks and with uh, at least the uh, uh, conversation with the Russians. Uh, w the last thing, though, we need to try and do is uh, uh, establish a safe zone where there's current conflict and where there are differing interests uh, and, and arguments over w who should control that safe zone. Do okay, you think we'd have to have the cooperation of the Russians? I, I think at least... Uh, uh, the acknowledgement on their part that uh, such a zone would be uh, in the benefit of the situation in Syria. Okay, yeah. Admiral Natter, thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you.